This is a school desk. The chair and the table are attached to remind you how fat you are every time you sit down. You can lean back in a school desk to stretch your back. Keep leaning back and the plastic will break and you've pierced your spleen. Here are the bookshelves that house the latest and greatest textbooks that the county provides on their budget. But those don't exist, so here's a textbook where O.J. Simpson is a football player and the Soviet Union is still a thing. These are the school trash cans. They're made with leftover metal from German U-boats, apparently. Also, in the event of a nuclear blast, you can hide in one and survive. This is the hand sanitizer provided by the school district. At first, I didn't care much for the smell, but after a few months of them refilling it with water, it's become more tolerable. This is a map of the school. The arrows point the direction so you can know how to get to the car quicker to cry. This is the bell schedule on the bulletin board. Don't bother memorizing it, we get a new one every year. But hold on to that one, we cycle through them every 10 years or so. This is a poster that I have in my room. It's not for the students, it's to remind myself that I could be drafted one day and not have to teach anymore. This is a dry erase marker. It's called that because it's always dry and you should erase the idea of ever getting new ones. These are the filing cabinets. Every classroom has 47 of them. They're stuffed full of papers that teachers think they will use again, but never will due to curriculum that changes more often than share in concert. Here's my hall pass I give to my students on their way to the restroom. I would be concerned with sanitation, except none of my students have actually ever made it to the restroom. These are our tables in the back. They have three giraffe legs and one Kevin Hart leg. If you want to move one before you drag it, be sure to notify the Coast Guard first because they've been known to replicate the sound of a tugboat in distress. This is a teacher's desk chair. The hydraulic system is broke, but it's mostly our fault because we sit in it like this. <sighs> Help me, Lord. Over here is our technology cabinet. It's never locked because everybody secretly wants everything to get stolen in it so we can collect the insurance money and buy new stuff. This is the top of a teacher's desk. It's made of wood to remind us constantly that the outside exists and has a nice black edge here so that the ants can hide on their way to my soda. This is the bottom drawer of a teacher's desk. It has that snack in it that you swear you'll eat one day, but you never will. It also has silverware. Every piece of silverware you ever borrowed from home is in there and it'll never make it back. This is the top drawer. It's supposed to have pencils in it, but the students borrow them and never return them. So instead, we just have an obscene amount of tax. Endless supply of tax. Seriously, teachers, we could hang every single page individually of Pride and Prejudice around our room and still have leftover tax. This is the top drawer where I keep everything I confiscate from students, like Hacks Body Spray, which smells a lot like... Smells, um... Oh, no.